What's up, YouTube? This is Mark Ily. I was driving home the other day, and I caught something interesting on NPR, or I'm not exactly sure what it was, uh, talk radio. Usually I don't listen to the radio too much in the car. Um, I listen to classical music, basically, and uh, if I'm not listening to classical music, I will listen to NPR or some kind of talk radio just to see what the narrative that the mainstream uh, is pushing, whatever propaganda of the day is coming out. And I happened to catch this story about how um, they're talking about the FBI, but you can apply any of the uh, CIA, FBI, any of the alphabet group uh, anagrams in there. You can plug any of them in, and it applies to all of them the same because they're all part of the same umbrella corporation. Um, and uh, basically the story is about how, you know, there really aren't any terrorists or terrorist activities or, or terrorist strikes out there. It's all just manufactured by the FBI or the CIA or, you know, some of these other, you know, groups out there. Um, and, uh, you know, the story talks about how the FBI manufactures the ideas. They, you know, supply the, the bombs, you know, whether they're fake or real. Um, they, you know, put together the whole situation. They make the contacts. All they do is find, like, one little stooge. You know, maybe it's somebody that uh, has a few less uh, brain cells than the next person. And um, somebody that's easily manipulatable. And, um, you know, somebody with no family in a bad position needs money, whatever. I mean, you know, you can blackmail people in, in, in many different ways. People that are estranged from the government and, and who, you know, nobody, you know, uh, agrees with the government these days. So, you know, anybody could fit into this classification. Um, but, uh, you know, they, they set these guys up, basically, and they say, here, hold this. As soon as they step out of the car and they're holding that, uh, they tackle them to the ground, and now all of a sudden they're in prison. They have some Middle Eastern name that you can't pronounce with 15 vowels in it, and they're on the news, uh, and uh, they're, the, they're the new terrorists that, that they stopped from, you know, bombing Disney World or whatever the fuck. So it's all just manufactured. It's all just so they can keep getting money. Uh, the bottom line is always about the bottom line. Um, it's the same with sports. That's why uh, things are rigged the way they are. Vegas always cleans up and makes billions. Um, you know, any any script, anything you see on television that has anything to do with military, the Pentagon basically has approved the script. I mean, they have people in there approving uh, television show scripts in the Pentagon. That's what it is. It's all entertainment. It's all psyop. It's all Project Mockingbird. Everything you see on television is fake. Uh, everything you see on television is entertainment. Um, that goes from the sports you watch that you think are real to the shows that you watch that are, you know, you think are called reality TV. It's all fake. That goes to the wrestling that you see that is obviously scripted to all the uh, all the shows that you see on television in that, in that rectangle in your living room is fake. And the majority of it is propaganda and it's thought about. It's, it's presented to you in a way that will skew your mind a little further to the left. And eventually they're going to be able to skew everybody into uh, such a way that, um, you know, we will have gone too far, we'll have reached the precipice and, and there will be no return. So, uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's listen to this little brief propaganda piece. His expert, who was actually an undercover agent, gave him the fake bomb. There's right, also the, right. the, the case of the Newburgh sting in Newburgh, New York, but there's a documentary about this where... Uh, yeah, that was a fascinating case before before ISIS where the, the judge was clearly very, very troubled. Um, she said in, in sentencing these, these four guys in Newburgh that had it not been for the FBI, there would have been no plot. The FBI, in her view, created this entire situation. Had it not been for the FBI, there would have been no plot. The FBI, in her view, created this entire situation. And yet she thought her hands were tied and uh, sentenced all four of them to, uh, to prison time because the FBI, at the end of the day, can point to its record of convictions in all of these cases since 9-11. Um, and they have never been found to have breached the line of entrapment in Newburgh or in any of these other cases. Uh, they've been very aggressive, but they've been, in the view of the FBI and the judges, within the bounds of the law. 
What, what exactly is the line? If, you know, if they're dealing with someone who espouses radical views, but they, in effect, brainstorm the crime and provide the implements of the crime. Brainstorm the crime and provide the implements of the crime. Under what circumstances can the, can the target be legitimately charged and convicted? If they can legitimately say that the person was predisposed to, to that mindset, that the FBI did not introduce the idea of radicalism to them, they can do an awful lot after that point. If they have identified someone who has already shown a proclivity towards, towards a radical mindset, um, they can really go step by step um, in a purported plot introducing fake stinger missiles as they did in that Newberg case and another case uh, in Albany and, and, and others, fake bomb makers, fake gun dealers, uh, fake attacks on synagogues or local establishments, fake bomb makers, fake gun dealers, uh, fake attacks on synagogues or local establishments. As long as they're not just sort of uh, willy-nilly identifying someone and introducing the idea. If they can say, this is someone who is already walking down that road and we just sort of let him there a little bit quicker. They've upheld that in court. If they can say, this is someone who is already walking down that road and we just sort of let him there a little bit quicker. They've upheld that in court. This has been